guys, welcome back. So we made it to Paris from Naples yesterday. In Paris, I mean, we're probably not gonna do anything too touristy because we've been here before. So we're just gonna enjoy the Paris vibes, shop around a little bit because, you know, shopping is so good in Paris. The variety of brands, the prices, everything. And of course, we're gonna try our luck at Hermes as well. Um, we haven't been able to get an appointment yet, but we have a few days, so we'll try. So I thought it might be fun to take you guys along whenever I go luxury shopping in Paris. So I'll see you guys soon. This Dior store is massive. This is a 30 Montan store. Huh? I'm sure they have lots and lots of stock. Starting from the ground floor, look at these adorable micro lady deals, utterly impractical but so cute, along with some other classics in the micro size. Not usually a fan of patent leather, but this deep green is really pretty. Neutrals here, there is the ultra matte black I've been eyeing for a while. around the corner to find a whole wall of book totes. Not sure if it is only in the 30 Montan store, but they customize the book totes for you. Apparently it's done quite quickly. Another wall full of book totes, mainly in the classic oblique jacquard here. This is the size small in the blue Toy de Joy. Great for everyday essentials, but it doesn't have that book tote look. I think I prefer the size medium because in a book tote, I just feel like that is more the vibe. First time seeing this wicker bag, it looks larger than the Lady Dior wicker bags actually. is quite large when you try it on. I do like that the strap attaches to the sides of the bag rather than on the metal rings on the handles. Also love the Dior Oblique lining. Wedding shoes. Look at this lady Dior. We are upstairs now. Everything is so stylishly done. There are lots of cool limited edition Lady Dior's. Definitely won't see another person carrying the same bag with one of these, I guess. We are at the exotic section now. Look at that iridescence. Finally trying on some Lady Dior's on myself. This diamond motif one is very edgy and cool. The canage pattern is created by embossing the leather rather than the stitches apparently. So it's very different. And this is the ultra matte black that I've been eyeing for a while. Now this kind of looks dull compared to the diamond motif one. Also looking at some exotic Lady Dior's. With the lower French prices, I am open to exotic for sure. This color reminds me of my favorite John Amber yellow color from Hermes. So bright and happy. Now this is the lineup. The yellow is the size small and all the others are minis. Trying on the orange ostrich mini. Orange is not really my color, but the ostrich makes it different. With these canvas lady Dior's, you can personalize the back with your initials or your name. These are really pretty too, but not sure how well they will wear over time. The thick strap in the canvas actually molds to your shoulders nicely as it's much more flexible than in the leather. Okay, 
Okay, we just came out of the wall. And did you know that this bag is only for this 30 on 10 store? So you can see the actual building on the bag. But anyway, I will unbox this soon and reveal to you guys what I got. I'm so excited! It's my little pair of souvenir and I couldn't be happier with it. Hey guys, this is another day. So yesterday we spent most of our time in Dior at um, 30 Montan, which was a fabulous experience. And as you saw, I picked up something which was really exciting. So that was great. Um, today we tried to go to the Louvre, but there was a really long line. So I think we're going to do that tomorrow. So while we're here, we are going to explore the Rue Cambon and um, the shops around there. So it's gonna be another couple of hours of shopping today. Also wanted to mention, as you can see, I'm wearing the same jacket because I didn't realize it was gonna be so cold in Paris. So I didn't actually bring another jacket. So I'm wearing a different uh, shirt. It's the nice LV shirt that my bestie let me borrow. But I've only got the one jacket. Anyway, we'll see what we can find today. I'll try and go into Chanel and a few other stores. So let's go. We're at Chanel 31 Rue Kimbon. It's a little bit of a line as usual, so just window shopping a little bit before we go in. Oh, love these uh, wintry colors with the baby pink and those gumboots that were so popular on Instagram. Next window, very tweed, long jacket, and a very vintage looking bag. Some more bags on this window. We have some hold on chains, a yellow cocoa handle. I think it's more like a greeny yellow sage color. Some flats and a seasonal bag. Ooh, this window is nice and colorful. We have those olive green tiny little vanity style bags, some pink cocoa handles and those gum boots again. got inside and met our sales associate so we're checking our shoes first so many cool boots this tweed one is so pretty but it will probably get ruined so fast hubby really liked these as spadrels so i'm trying them on I initially thought they looked too busy, but they're kind of growing on me. I wanted to see some ballet flats, but they didn't have uh, much stock at all, especially in my size. So I'm trying on these espadrilles. And they're kind of loud with all the Chanel text, but more subtle than the CEC logos at the same time. Of course, we had to see the bags and SLGs while we're here. bags with intricate details these were so beautiful but so expensive like ridiculously but I still had to try this beautiful crystally green flap I think it'll be amazing for Christmas definitely something you don't see all the time just look at that sparkle you may have already seen this if you follow me on Instagram. It's the prettiest nude I've seen from Chanel in the recent times. This one is a wallet on chain, but I do like that it still has the CC turn lock rather than just a magnetic closure. Makes it look much more like a proper bag than just a wallet on chain. The strap is completely adjustable with the CC slide lock here. How gorgeous is this red? It's the perfect red with the blue undertones. This is quite a good size as it can fit the phone. This vanity on chain also has the same slide lock to adjust the strap length width. This is the current season's tweed flap. The medium sized flap bag looks quite bulky in the tweed material. I guess the tweed makes it more puffy. It will be nice with the right outfit for sure, but not quite my kind of blue. So 
I got myself a souvenir from the 31 Rue Cambon Chanel as well. So I'm so excited to share with you guys really soon. Since every Dior store has slightly different stock, I wanted to check the Saint Honoré store out as well. This Python one really captured my attention at a first glance. It is so bold but neutral at the same time with the beautiful gold and brown colouring throughout. The more wild self in me loved this bag but I think it's still too much for my aesthetics and style. Maybe one day. It is definitely one of a kind. Okay, I was never even into the DJ bags, but this color is so pretty and it's really growing on me, which is problematic. I did not know that DJs came with two separate straps as well, a shorter one with the chain detail and the longer one for crossbody. I know this bag's quite controversial. I want to hear from you guys. Are you into this bag or do you think it looks really strange? Please share your opinions on this bag in the comments below. We also went to the Irma Surf store to see some shoes and I came across, of course, this beautiful bag wall and I thought I'd share these eye candies with you. So drool worthy. So. This is not Paris anymore, <laughs> Rin Khan, because we're doing a little South of France tour traveling. Since there was a massive line everywhere at Louis Vuitton in Paris, we're stopping over at Khan, so maybe we'll just check it out from here since there is no queue whatsoever. the shirt that my bestie lent me with a coat. That whole look is really nice and neutral as well. Even the perfume section is so beautiful. Stolen new on the pedal stool. Ooh, how pretty. This outfit is so cute. Very beachy. Stardust level, I think. Beach bag, more bags. This is the one that I tried in Melbourne. I'm sure the price is better here. And that's mine. This is the white version of the black tea I own. I should really love it, so maybe I need a white one as well. Oh, look at this skirt. Yeah, this skirt looks nice. Hmm. I really like this skirt. It's my kind of thing, I think. 1,600 euros. Bit steep. They 
don't have many colors in the mini. There's one black one on display, so I'm still gonna try it. But you guys know that I've been eyeing the bright red color, so let's still try the size. It's such a cute size. Makes the bag a whole lot more playful and less serious. Just love it. And this is it. There's a shorter bag. Obviously, black is not gonna be a good choice because it's gonna be very similar to my mini Kelly. And then the track is six thousand, something like this. Oh, it's very really good. Try, yeah. yeah. Baby, so there's not many mini. Six ninety. Six ninety. Yeah, because I know. Six ninety. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's very, to try yeah, this. in <laughs> Europe. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So we just came out of Louis Vuitton. So a little bit of context, I wasn't supposed to luxury shop when we we're traveling the south of France, but I noticed when we stopped over in Cannes that there's no lines outside luxury stores. And in Paris, every single store you have to line up for so long to get in, which has kind of limited the amount of vlogging that I could do at luxury stores. Um, so I just had to go into the Louis Vuitton store and check it out and ask for the capucines. But the mini capucines are so limited. They only had the black one, the black one with the embellishment and that was it and i asked the lady i'm going back to nice if i can probably find the capucines in other colors in nice and she said nice will be more sort of canvas pieces they don't have a lot of high-end pieces in nice i didn't know that so that was really interesting maybe no luck with the capucines but the price point is just so amazing it was 4,000 something euros as opposed to 9,000 something Australian dollars. Also asked about the Agenda MM or GM. As you guys know, those items are part of my um, Paris wish list as well, but they didn't have any of those either. So, so sad, came out empty handed, but I'm gonna try some other Louis Vuitton stores whenever I see no big lines outside. But anyway, now we're off to Aix-en-Provence because we're gonna travel around the Provence a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you whenever I go to another luxury store. Decided to try on some more exotic Lady Dior's in Monte Carlo. This one is in the Water Snake and it has a very pretty iridescence. And the color is so unique. Apparently, there were only five pieces of this exact colorway distributed to the whole of Europe and the Middle East. Also tried the Lizard one in cream. I am just always drawn to white bags. There's just something about the white. I don't know what it is, but I am always so attracted to them. This will make more sense for my wardrobe. It's totally different to Cray. Yeah. Cray is too serious. On the darts mm. in pink. Because you have the other ones that have the Dior in the middle, right? The uh, ones that yes, are. Yes, and fabric. Yes. Yeah, the classic. Try the micro. How do you like it? But I think you can wear on cross body because when you wear on cross body, it's mm. not here, but it's the inspiration. It's like a high one. one. Mm. So I actually ended up exchanging the Lady Dior I bought from the 30 Montan Boutique with something from here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have an idea which one I ultimately picked. Anyway, this brings us to the end of this vlog. Stay tuned for my Paris unboxings. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!